Well, if you know, you know. <laughs> if you're new here, you're wondering what the heck is going on. And if you're not new here, then you're aware that I have probably got a face full of hives. Yes, I have a face full of hives, and I am just past the fevering and really sickish part, and I'm just kind of getting back up on my feet, but I'm cooling them down, which I do about once an hour. You don't want to have your refrigerated bag or your Hannibal Lecter face mask on full time. You don't want to do any damage, but I'm in my resting and cooling the hives period, but with just enough energy that I am going to pull out a tiny tidy. I hadn't really planned on it. Oh, it's so hard to take yourself seriously. It is so hard to take yourself Oh, my teeth look extra weird. Okay. Okay. Let me regroup. I have just enough energy today to do a tiny tidy of my tea and coffee cabinet. Now, we are supposed to be tiny tidying our way through our spring cleaning, which I do intend to do. And I guess this qualifies. I was going to try to do two cabinets a week, and I'm just doing one because this is how my week has gone. Um, but I thought I was going to do none. I thought I just might intro the, the playlist for the other ladies, but I'm going to go ahead and intro the playlist here as well as tiny tidy quick with probably voiceover my tea cabinet because I am on all of the teas. I mean, I drink a lot of tea anyways, but when I am having sort of a health flare up with, which for me involves like a lot of food restrictions and histamine issues, which you end up with basically sort of a, a huge allergic reaction. I mean, I didn't have an allergic reaction, but my body starts rejecting things that have histamines. And um, so I drink a few teas to help calm that down. This is in no way medical advice. Consult your doctor. I'll leave a whole disclaimer. But um, I like the lemon balm elderberry tea, which is supposed to have good autoimmune benefits. Um, and I like a roasted marshmallow root tea. That is supposed to be good for um, soothing the esophagus. So any sort of sore throat or dry throat or um, even like acid reflux damage. Um, so I want to get those teas out of my messy tea cabinet and get them into um, a couple of jars I keep on the counter so that I can have easy access to them since they'll be like daily drinkers right now. And um, need to see if I have any more of the certified mold-free decaf. I always drink Swiss water processed or something that's low acid. But when I'm actually having like a hive flare-up, um, I also swap to a certified myotocin mold-free coffee. I know. I know. Know thyself. Am I a little crazy hoodoo voodoo about all the food? Yeah, I can be that way. But if this happened to you, you might be that way too. Anywho, welcome to the Tiny Tidy Tuesday playlist. It's an open playlist collaboration. Please click on the link in the description box below to watch all the other ladies' wonderful, motivational, inspirational content. And don't forget to let us know what we inspired you to Tiny Tidy today. And you're welcome. <laughs> At least I'm having a good hair day. <laughs> See you after. Okay, here is our before. I will say my beverage station is a place that gets so much traffic, like daily traffic from multiple people, that it is often in need of a tiny tidy, and it often does get tiny tidied. Here you can see that I find honey that is so crystallized, it won't even move. I mean, what do you do with that? Ooh, I was going to make protein bites. I was going to make oat protein balls. I'm going to heat that on the stove and use that for my protein bites. Also, two open honeys. Like, who needs two open honeys? This is why you should pay attention to what you own, people. And here's the carnage. As you can see, Mrs. Hyde has just ripped all of this carnage right out of the cabinet. And um, yeah, that's who's in control today. Sometimes I organize like Dr. Jekyll in a very methodic, organized fashion. And sometimes Mrs. Hyde just gets crap done because that is what needed to happen today. So here, there is evidence of our Starbucks problem. Yeah, we have a Starbucks problem. We also have a tea problem. And I don't even know. There's just like tea everywhere. Harney and Sons is my favorite blend of tea. But I often wait till I find them on clearance at Target because they do go clearance. And in the meantime, I refill them. So this is an African red bush tea. And so I fill it with a red tea of my choice. Actually, I picked a beautiful organic red tea. And I love it. It comes in these individual packs so that they stay fresh. And then you just open a pack and refill your tea tin. 
when you're ready. That is a daily tea for me as well. What is your daily tea? No matter what's going on in my life, I almost always have a rooibos. Um, right now, I am currently here to dig out my lemon balm tea and that right there, my marshmallow root tea. That back there, that's why we're here. Um, it is a loose leaf tea. I think I show you in a minute, but it looks like way more fun than it is because, um, yeah, it looks like something else. We'll see that in a minute. But here, I don't even know how I found this precious, precious gift. I found the ring to my milk frother, which is going to do me so much good because I'm going to be on a lot of turmeric teas or um, golden milk teas. Uh, marshmallow root powder. That is another way to take in that marshmallow root. But it can be a little gritty. You really have to whisk it into your hot water. Here is that elderberry lemon balm stress tea. Um, it's also good little immune system boost. And my husband's roasted dandelion root tea. Now those boxes are both almost empty and all of the, oh, here we go, here we go. That is what looks like way more fun than it is. That's just marshmallow root. I ain't gonna roll it and smoke it, people, don't worry. I'm not gonna roll it and smoke it. It's marshmallow root tea and it's gonna go in one of those tea bomb balls and um, go right into my hot water found my little tea squeezer got to have a tea squeezer and here we have the after um, this is a long skinny narrow cabinet which is like the worst kind of cabinet to have so I do my best I put the things we don't use as much in the back and then the things we use daily in the front and so that's what we've done here um, I've got my little bottle of stevia there on the right and we're looking pretty good let's see my discard pile Okay, these are the honeys. I'm going to use the last of the little one and the hard one, and I'm going to put them in a pan of hot water. Do you ever do that? Give your honey new life. And I'm going to um, use them in my oat bites. And here's the last dregs of coffee. Very little bit left in those. I'm going to let those go. I'm going to refill my coffee rack. There we go. I need decaf. So next time I'm at our local Target, I'm going to pick up decaf. But other than that, we've got the cabinet set back to square one. And I'm ready to chill. Whew. Okay, we did it. We have our tea and um, we're back in bed probably for a few hours to rest here. It's crazy how much it takes out of your body when it's fighting um, anything really. When your body's fighting any sort of reaction, it just takes a lot out of you. So um, yeah, it's probably about time to pop this thing off, but you don't want to see what's under here. You don't want to see. <laughs> so. I'm going to, uh, you don't want to see this either, but this is better than what's going on underneath. Anywho, thanks for joining us on Tiny Tidy Tuesday. Sometimes you get what you get when you show up here. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Words to live by. <laughs>